What's up guys, James Jean here, and today I'm going to show you something that I think helped me improve in my instinctive archery. And do you want to know what the secret is? A bottle of water. <laughs> Let me explain to you. Um, we're going to be shooting this out of the air and I'll show you how it has helped me over the years improve in my instinctive archery. First. I'm going to explain to y'all like y'all have never shot a bow before. I'm going to explain my equipment and how I like to shoot my bow. Alright, first things first, I've got a recurve bow. Now you could do this with a long bow too. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for a compound, it's just about impossible but uh, for this exercise. But this is 45 pounds, um, you can go pretty light you can go 20 pounds I mean 15 pounds if you want to to do this um, probably the lighter the better um, this is kind of overkill right here you can use a heavier pound bow but it might tear up your ears a little bit but uh, yeah this is what I shoot and uh, this is how I grip it it don't listen don't try this unless you feel comfortable with it um, I use two fingers one above one on the bottom of the air shaft um, a lot of people use three fingers. Um, this is actually a three finger glove that I cut one of the fingers off. Um, why I shoot that way, I don't know. That's how I've been shooting since I was a little kid. I'm just real comfortable shooting that way. And uh, that's how it works for me. Next thing is the air. Now, we're gonna be shooting stuff out of the air. So, we're gonna need a flu flu air. Um, I recommend it because if you have a regular air, most likely you're not going to find it. Um, it's just going to shoot way too far. And these seem to slow down maybe 60 yards. Uh, the spiral wrap flu flus. Uh, the regular flu flus will uh, go a little farther, 100, 120 yards. Um, man, the bugs are killing me. But I recommend the spiral wraps just because you're going to be walking over and over to go pick up arrows. And a closer walk is better than a longer walk. But um, notice I have a lot of open space here. I don't want anything in the background. I don't want anybody for this because it's going to take some practice. All right. Now we're going we're to explain what we're about to do. Okay. Now I got a water bottle here. I filled it up with rocks. What I like about filling it up with rocks is you can throw it up, and most of the time, if it gets a little wobbly, it'll end up flying like this. And it's easier to throw when it's a little bit weighted. You can have it full of water if you want it to. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm going to put this down. You're going to have your arrow knocked. You're going to want to throw your bottle up. Keep your eye on the bottle. Put your hand back on the bow. Pull back and shoot the bottle. Now I've been doing this for many, many years now. This is probably the main target that I shoot. Um, I probably shot more bottles than anybody I know with the bow. But that's what we're going to do, this simple exercise. Um, what I recommend for people that have not done this is uh, grab a 2 liter. A um, little bit bigger target, boost your confidence a little bit, it's going to help you out. Um, the main tricks to these, and this is why it helps you be more instinctive, is because you throw it up. You grab your bow, you don't have time to aim. You just have to shoot before that bottle hits the ground. But uh, one of the hard parts about this is throwing the bottle right and getting back to your bow. So um, what, I, what I would do if I'm out of the house, I would just practice just throwing up an imaginary bottle, getting back to your bow. Throwing up your bottle, get back to your bow. Just keep on doing that motion until you kind of get used to the way things go. Alright, now how I shoot is going to be different than how everybody else shoots. Now I don't have an anchor point. Um, as you can see in my trick shot video, I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, the last 20 seconds I'll have you know a little clip of it where you can click on it and watch it. But um, I shoot from many different angles. I'll shoot from you know having it anchor point right there, having it down here, 
you know, having it behind the back with my feet up over my head, all kinds of ways. I just know where the air is going to go. All right, and this kind of helps you practice for all that. Now, let's get to shooting. It's time to start shooting. Okay, I got my bow, I got my flu flu, got a nice open area here, and I got my two liter. What I'm gonna try to do is throw the two liter up in the air, grab my bow, shoot it before it hits the ground. Okay, you don't have time to aim. This will help your instinctive archery, at least it did for me. Okay, we're gonna throw it up. If you didn't see it there, it went straight through the two liter. All right, now for the throw, um, it's easier to throw it closer to you at first, and then you might want to try, you know, backing it up a little bit, make it a harder shot. The closer it is, the easier it is to shoot. The farther it is, the harder it is going to be to shoot. All right, let's try that again. We're going to throw the bottle a little farther. All right, going to do the same thing, throw it up. Shoot it before it hits the ground. Same thing, went through the bottle, but you can hear it. All right. Now, once you have that down, it's time to start shooting the smaller bottle. Now this is what I usually shoot. This is actually the first time I shot a two liter. So we're gonna throw this up, do the same exact thing. This is a smaller target, it's harder to hit. Okay, that time it didn't go through the bottle. Stuck in it. That's the base you wanna do. You wanna keep on practicing, practicing, practicing. Whenever I first did this, you know, I wasn't hitting bottles every try. But, you know, now I hit it most of the time. Every now and then I get a little screw up. But let's try it some more. That time I went through the bottle. All right, now we're gonna try it a little harder. We're gonna throw it a little farther. That was a little farther, not too far. It was actually kind of a bad throw. But there you go, folks. Um, another error through the bottle. Uh, this is why I recommend a lighter pound bow. Either that or fill your whole bottle up with rocks because it kind of screws with your fletching. Um, you know, flu flu errors are kind of expensive if you buy them. Um, they're 15 bucks a piece. You know, I wouldn't, you know, if you're going to try this, go out and buy one error. You don't need a bunch. Um, 15 bucks to get you started. This is what I do. I spend about 45 bucks on a dozen errors and I spend about 30 bucks on 100 feathers. And I do them myself. And, uh, you know, that bag of feathers will last me a long time and a dozen errors will last me a long time. And it's cheaper in the long run. And uh, a lot of times I shoot compound too. And whenever I get a crappy error out of my compound that I don't like or something or I knock a fletching off, then I'll, you know, fletch on a flu flu feather on it. Don't have to use, you know, fancy errors for it. All right. Let's try a little harder shot. Throw it out a little farther, okay? All right, that one went through it. But yeah, that's the gist of it, okay? Just get out there, practice. Um, if, you under, if you see what I'm doing here, you don't have time to aim. You're, you know, just about the time I pull it back, I'm shooting, okay? Um, you know, you got unlimited targets. I don't know how hard it is for y'all to find an empty water bottle, but it's pretty easy for me. But yeah, it's a fun thing to do. You know, you don't need somebody else to throw it. Um, this is, you know, another thing I like to explain is that will help you, you know, draw aim quick. You know, a lot of people, when I see them first start out, they want to sit here, they want to draw, aim, like draw before they even throw it. They draw back, wait for, the, wait for them to throw it, and then they end up missing it. You know, that happens for some people, not all people, but it happens for me. Whenever I sit there and try to aim at a target, I usually miss it. Whenever I try to shoot it instinctively, most of the time I hit it. So this is, you know, good practice for me. It might not work for y'all, but you know, this is my main squeeze right here. This is what I do all the time. 
but yeah, um, go out and try it. Um, let's shoot this bottle out and then uh, I'll show you some different stuff you can do. All right. Let's try some trick shots now. All right guys, for this trick shot, if you notice, my bow's on the ground. What I'm trying to do here is throw the bottle up, pick up my bow, and shoot it before it hits the ground. Way easier said than done, but let's give it a shot. That's how you do it. Let's try some more shots. Now we're gonna try it with a smaller bottle. If you notice, two liter, water bottle. A lot smaller target. Let's see if we can do it. That's how you do it. You know what that's good for? Whenever you're out there on the dove field with your buddy and you got your bow on the ground and you're showing them pictures of your new girlfriend and all of a sudden you see a dove, you can pick it up and shoot it real quick. Um, really, I don't know what you'd use that for in real life hunting, but it's fun to try. All right, let's try some more things. All right. For this trick shot, oh, for this trick shot, I got my two liter here. What I'm gonna do, throw it behind my back, turn around, shoot it before it hits the ground. All right. That's how you do it. All right. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the same exact shot with the smaller bottle. Throw it over my back, turn around, shoot it. All right, for this shot, this is for the people that do not want to throw it by themselves. You can always put it at the end of your foot, kick it up, and shoot it. Hope I didn't walk in front of the target right there. Um, we can try it again if you want. We'll try it with a two liter now. All right, put it on my foot, kick it up, shoot it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun uh, shooting this video, and I hope it helps you out in instinctive archery. Um, I know it helped me out. But just, yeah, get out and grab a few bottles and go out and shoot, you know. Uh, just make sure nobody's around you, and you're, uh, you're not going to shoot anything you don't want to shoot. So um, just get out there, have a good time, shoot some bottles, and get better at archery. That's what it's all about, you know, improving yourself, making yourself a better archer, or better at anything else you do. Um, you know, I know instinctive archery is tough, but hopefully this will help you out. You know, uh, it's hard to explain it for people how you do it, but, you know, it's awesome. It looks good, and it's fun to do. But I'm James Sheen. I'll see you next time. Um, as I said earlier, I'm going to post my trick shot video at the last 20 seconds of this vid, so y'all enjoy. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't, if you like the video, like it. Uh, if you don't like it, dislike it so uh either way it doesn't bother me so uh hope y'all have a good time and get out and shoot i'll see y'all later thank you